I'm very pleased to have you here today. Yeah. So let me start it. Uh, so next DPC is an LTE core network. Uh, the, uh, so, uh, the first phrase uh, Harold Harold Lotte, basically. Do you, do you remember it? The first page wrote to you, buyer, yeah, yeah. So next DPC provides MME, SDW, the serving gateway, MP gateway, HSS, and PCRF. Uh, five elements. Uh, next DPC has been tested in GNU Linux distribution. Uh, so I mainly developed the, on the Mac OS X, like here, yeah. So support for FreeBSD and Mac OS X is what happened. There is no special meaning. In FreeBSD, uh, was not installed and tested in direct, direct machine. In the virtual box environment, we have just executed some test code. But Mac OS X is correctly worked with SRS in order to be. Uh, package support Harold wrote the Debian Ubuntu package and Martin, yeah, so open suje is written by Martin. Uh, he said that yesterday, maybe Fedora support, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, member, yeah, there are three members. Uh, I'm working as a government official in Korea. So I'm a daddy of two children and the other person of the Korea who has to make a money. But anyway, I graduated from university and worked in security and networking area more than 10 years. And in 2011, I worked as a public servant. Therefore, I don't have to make money from next EPC, basically. <laughs> and Jin Young Park is a software engineer from um, Juni Global Network. The company supports some Pentocell and Inode B. Brandon Ji Hun Lee in Denver, professor in Colorado. <laughs> There are many people who are not familiar with uh, LTE or 4G network, so I just like to reduce some 4G words in this presentation. So basically, this is in internal. Mm. We uh, have uh, some lib core library. Yeah, in 2010, the core library is developed. It is very old library. The coding style is a bit old, but I chose it because the there are no copyright problem because the three people is implemented it. I started using uh, APR, Apache Runtime Library, for OS abstraction layer, such as thread, frog, blah, blah, blah. And then, and refer to OpenSSL. So OpenSSL is a bit inconvenient to use, so we have created some simple library. The remained part, we solely designed some thread queue. Yeah, this is some for producer consumer worker and finite state machine. I think uh, Osmo FSM is much better, in my opinion. The very simple library and TLV library, type, length, variable. We need the, this library for the GTP V2C message. Uh, in the memory pool, it, it is a bit different from APR pool or TR lock. Yeah. So this is just a very simple array, basically. It does not have a parent child structure. So you need to manage a located point, a located point like known malloc free. So it is a little inconvenient. However, this structure enables to make some index something PID or some ID, yeah. Let's see sample code. Uh, I'm not sure the point or, or anyway. So there is some, uh, some declare and 
MMEUE pool, the pool name, and MMEUE T is some structure. So MME pool of UE is the number of the array. So init and final function should be initialized and finalized in the process. And use add function and remove function, you can allocate some memory from the array. And find use the some index. Oh, so O1, yeah, the time is O1 because it is array. Memory relates to packet buffer has a slight different structure, mostly used in data plane. Uh, previous BSD, yeah, BSD has a structure called M buffer. So this is a zero copy implementation without mem copy when some header adding and removing IP or TCP, HTTP header in the packet in data plane. So we have implemented this structure in our memory pool. Something like that, yeah. Use static array pool, so some class buffer, so a log free. Uh, so default uh, the buffer is, uh, uh, the, the default number of buffer is 256. Uh, this value should be updated later. And among our codes, there are functions start with core underbar. Uh, this is just the name we have uh, written for the Unix system library. Malloc is provided by the OS, while core underbar malloc is taken from the PK buffer structure. Uh, initially, Jin Youngbak designed this part. However, I recently recreated the socket library. I just started to upgrade IPv6 for this library. So, and then SCTIP server, we use the substream method. Uh, however, macOSX uses the subsequential packet. Yeah, this is a, because this is a library called user and SCTP. If you use, uh, uh, so if I use the user and SCTP, SCTP library, some accept function, I cannot get out. It is blocked. So I informed him of this, and I do not know if this has been fixed recently. If it is done, if it is fixed, I will change it all to all substream method. All UDP socket uses a bounded socket, so we are not using send to functions, just use send. And all socket use non-blocking mode and one process, such like MME and SDW, some elements use only one select loop. Uh, like Cosmocom, we started using the ASN1C library for S1AP. In the past, we supported uh, S1AP and developed it using ASN1 to start the .py script. OAI people created this script. By the way, currently, some two people uh, have recently made this without this Python script. Of course, it is not merged in the main branch, but NextDP has adopted the new SON API recently. Let's see the example. So the previously, we just used some structure very easily because the script generated the code. However, currently, the right side, so currently, we need to some parsing code for so so uh, basically the user uh, should do some take this role. Yeah. Uh, encoder especially difficult to move new S1 AP. So uh, yeah. So for example, codes present uh, left side just setting group and codes. Uh, but in the right side, uh, there are much of code is needed. Uh, GTP V2C and NAS, uh, for this message, we are using spec document. So Python doc library and parse the spec document to generate C code. <coughs> we encounter some problem for this approach, lots of text data, like the previous session. Some charts need to merge this there. For example, uh, these things. So before the execute the script, I need to change the cell merge by handy or the table. 
for diameter, we use uh, the free diameter library. Very good. In my opinion, it is very good library, very stable to implement uh, diameter protocol. But so there is no maintenance. So next TPC includes the source code directly. Uh, currently, there is no change in from the free diameter, except Herald request me some code change for loopback test. Yeah. Module. So this is basic our some block, some block for MME and HSS and all five elements, some context, some data structure and event. Build is some encoder, S S1 AP, NAS, GTP, whatever thing. Handler is some some handling and state machine, some mail routine, and pass some pointer, S1 AP, GTP, diameter. Uh, when UI and DB, we select the database of MongoDB. And for web user interface, uh, the backend, we use the Node.js and Express. Frontend, we are using React, provided by Facebook. Uh, recently, some company pro provides some Next.js framework. That, this is very good, nice. Uh, so data handling and use Redux Saga and for authentication we use Passport. A styled component can do web design directly, so such a button or a menu can make directly. So our web UI is not so pretty. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is our web UI, so we are using JSON schema style. So just some JSON schema description, the form can be generated like these things. Uh, let me start to show you about the, our web UI from the scratch. So I need to window. And firstly, oh, sorry, MongoDB. And then so Node.js is running. Oh, wow, so, 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 how to do that? I have basically, this is my first time <laughs> presentation, so I don't know how to, uh, in my opinion, it may be possible. Oh. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let me again. <laughs> so MongoDB running and Node.js backend is started. So and then uh, this is our default port uh, 3000. So this is, yeah, oh, uh, ah, this is Sysmocom some new sim, yeah. <laughs> So this is logout or login. And for adding subscriber, some plus button and change some IMSI, change K, change office, and save. Yeah, that's it. Or you may want uh, multiple APN. In this case, uh, so this is some one default internet APN, and you can add some IMS APN network like this. In this case, two APN is added, so some IMS network can be used. So there are some, this is for the dedicated bearer, so some, <coughs> some some blah, 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 or the rule can be added like this format. This is a spec format. Essentially, it is uh, derived from the IPFW in FreeBSD. So, some omnink or TCP, whatever thing, yeah, something like that. In this case, two classification is added and some, something like that. Uh, in the web UI, there are some profile, yeah. It is some handy tools. For example, one one profile. 
and go to profile. <coughs> so in this case, the uh, user easily add, use select profile and just set IMSI. So this profile is applied. And that's, yeah. Our web UI is very simple. There is not much function currently. Yeah. So the question was whether what's a profile, um, and it's uh, basically lots of subscribers normally have lots of similar um, properties. So you don't want to enter them individually for each subscriber. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. Okay, when your eye is done, uh, I need to change. Oh. And next thing is so our test code. Uh, our test code is very simple compared to a small Kong. Yeah. So Ripcoa is tested with a unit test manner, and five elements are tested with automated test manner like TTCN3, but the user we are still language. So UE and InnoDB test packet is hard-coded hard raw packet from Wireshark. And some test packet created by a Sony MP encoder. For Volte, we some protocol stack is minimally implemented. So this is raw packet. And sometime I need to create some encoder. Uh, let me demo. So MongoDB. And oh uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> ah, so okay, yeah. Um, mm, so I need to some basically, yeah. Ah, uh, let me try. Yeah, let me try. Mm. No. Right? Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> MongoDB and Oh, sorry. So I need to some network because the tune is needed in the Mac OS X. So Basically, it could, in my development environment, I just usually initialize the when power up, but for demo, I used these things, yeah. Some IP table is added and some, yeah, tune is uh, configured. And then, uh, okay, let me try it first. This is unit test code, so some FSM and TLV, timer, slug, atomic, yeah, There's some thread queue, yeah, oh, click, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is some uh, unit test manner. And the other thing, we use some, so we made it to Wireshark. So in the Wireshark, There are packet capture loopback, yeah. And the filter, yeah. These things. Oh. Why? Okay. Ah, uh, usually, so Mac OS X needed to root privilege in for the tune device. So in the Linux, you can just use these things because the next DPC so uses the least privilege approach. So, but uh, Mac OS, there is no way. So we need to do these things. So and test DPC. What the hell? <laughs> in my opinion, 
Oh. Oh, it is not worked <laughs> correctly. I don't know. Anyway, episode sometime running. And uh, in that time, oh, what happened? Ridiculous. Let me try one more then. But may not be worked. Okay, let me uh, let me need some try to deb debugging later, but, but debugging some this configuration anyway. So so test script is something like that. So um, this thing some package is sending and receiving. So for example some initial UE message send and receive some compare. The result is compare is this type. Okay, so there is a lot of packet. For example, in my opinion, there is so our website. Oh, no, 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 no. Our website. Uh, Document, git, oh. Oops. Git, edit, and recap, yeah. This is our test script. If, if the test script is running, so this is some Attachy and some IPv6 loud solicitation. So test have uh, some data pass is also some loopback test. And some Volte and the remaining part is some handover. It is also working. Anyway, let me, I need to, okay. Not. Mm. Oh, there is a, oh, we implemented some Docker, so focus on test environment in the container manner, like uh, uh, Osmocon. We use Docker Composer, Docker Composer, yeah. So there are four environments, some build environment, and some development environment, and running environment, and test environment. So this Docker Composer and running Docker Composer run DV just set up some running uh, some development environment and the test script some test or so, so some different uh, this Linux distribution. Uh, my current working, um, I implemented the Volte function. Initially, I was planning to use uh, the Camel Camellia project. To do the testing. However, the C packet could not be generated. No matter how I set up UC or phone, this does not work. So maybe there is a way to use it in the industry, in my opinion. But I have not yet found it yet. So I have some, yeah, it is uh, not working. And I'm considering how to communicate uh, between web UI and HSS PCRF. I'm thinking of the ability to modify the configuration file on the web or view the log. We are also considering to view subscriber-based log like a Wireshark on the web. There are many ways, but I have not yet decided which is the best at this point. Okay, next is PC status, where we are. Mm. Uh, we are mainly working in aging experiments uh, for three or four days uh, and are currently operating reliably, reliably in the lab. Four in order B and eight U is used to maximum throughput at edge environment. So I think next EPC could be mainly used as a test EPC for developer. So in order B or UE. What is missing? So unit test, automated test is available, but no end to test. No CI, so no subscribe-based logging for service provider. 
So in my opinion, business is not yet. Definitely. <laughs> what we want to do, so several dollars, we hope this open source community will grow stronger, stronger, stronger and stronger. So what, we, what can we contribute to? Mm, we have wondered what feature first developed could benefit for developers or companies of this community. So I thought about this. So some anyone comes to us. Yeah, first we try to make the picture first. In the roadmap, there are lots of features, but yeah. Of course, there is no NRE for free <laughs> for developing. Please, any volunteer to develop <laughs> co <-work? laughs> yeah. So how to co-work? Mm, co-work, so do you have any packet capture file for new feature? Then it will be implemented very quickly, in my opinion, for using our test environment. So no, I don't care. So I can see the spec and making coder and implementing it, but it may be some time is needed. It will take some time. So it will be updated GitHub repository, you can use it. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Any question? <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, as I understand, this project is about uh, Core LTE network. And uh, what if I would like to run this in my lab uh, environment? Uh, how can I, which base, sta base station shall I use to connect uh, to your core network and so on? How can I test it with real equipment? Yeah, so how can you test it? So, basically, our website. I, I cannot know, I can understand your question, but okay. Anyway, I start. Uh. Yeah. Oh, sh <laughs> oh. Maybe <laughs> if I can rephrase the question, which E node B do you support? Which E node B? Yes. Can be used, right? Yes, with yeah, XDTC. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Uh, so there are some, so top two people have some commercial E node B, but in my case, uh, so this is our document page. Um, I need to some. So at the home, so getting started, just installation or some build manual and the configuration. And so this, there is some tutorial. So Prerequisite, yeah, so USRP is needed. Basically, Sysmocom provided me the USRP, GPS store, blah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 so this is overall physical setup. Harold wrote this guide. I copied it. <laughs> and then the installation, UHD hardware driver like this. And then, this is SRS inode B, so just install, compile. For next TPC, is available on recent Ubuntu, and also OpenSUSE is available. So <laughs> just install, and web UI install, like this. So if you buy the Sysmocom, you see, you can receive some mail, like this. And then, login. And adding subscriber. So the change is needed. Mm, this SON API address is from SRS inode B. Yeah, this is loopback. So the PLNM ID from Sysmocom USIM. The tracking area code, source inode B. So just change it, this configuration. And change this. And then this for the ping, yeah, some change some IP table. And then change the SRS inode B configuration, just run, yeah. Where? Where, where, say it again? I'm just thinking it, it, 
it's good to have these diffs of uh, what you should change uh, ah, to have your so. network yeah, yeah. working. And I think it may be a good idea to have that also in Osmocom Wiki. Yeah. Because sometimes uh, we have some configurations, but they are quite complex. And then when somebody wants to set up yeah. Uh, yeah, a new network and it's yeah, the first yeah. time, uh, they don't really know which parameters sure, they should change yeah. or not. Yeah, or yeah, definitely. So yeah. I like, to like this style. Yeah. I, I have a, s a short question. Uh, what is um, their architecture in terms of uh, processes? So uh, you have uh, MME, SGV, PGV. Are they separate uh, executables? Or? Sure, definitely. Because, yeah, these things. <coughs> so basically, how to run, I'm not sure it, uh, is it can be working or not. And so the process, oh, sorry, the process is uh, like this. So some MME and oh, oh, some, some outside machine. It, it could be possible because so between these things is uh, some spec, diameter. All thing is, all thing is, uh, can be pass uh, can be derived by the configuration file, something like the, our configuration used some um, YAML. So, so these things some some addresses changed, so you can use uh, some some other machine. Yeah. And uh, inside uh, those executables, are they multi-threaded or single-threaded? Oh, uh, um, basically SZW serving gateway and P gateway single thread, MME uh, two thread. So I can, of course, it could be used one thread, but for simple, yes, for each to debug, we use two thread for MME. Yes. Uh, which, thre which threads do you have in MME? Uh, what threads do you have in MME? MME, so? MME case, some the one network select loop and one message queue handler. So some produce consumer queue and just producer and consumer. Only two threads. Yeah. This, of course, it could be used one thread, but our design is two thread on for MME. But serving gateway and P gateway, uh, and and also MME context. Context some data structure used only by the one thread, so there is no rock thing tile, no rock thing in there, yeah. No mutex, no semaphore, yeah. For developer, so we use some handy tools. So usually we are using some some SPCD. There is some POC, so five processes executed. Oh, this is for develop, for me, basically. <laughs> but package installed, the process is not installed. So the package is use, usually some, something like uh, installation. Yeah, so five processes, like, oh, only one. Uh, yeah, five processes installed, and when you are. Um, uh, did you, uh, yeah, what's the status of testing, let's say? So it's stable, like, did you, there's somebody testing it quite a lot, more like in production or on the field? Ah, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I rephrase. Um, is there somebody using it uh, day to day or doing good amount of tests? Mm -hmm. Good amount to... Uh, yeah, like, uh, is it being used or... Uh, in my case... Uh, yeah, in production or... Uh, like for production. Yeah. For production, I need to more test the framework. It, it is not enough, in my opinion, for production. Okay. Because uh, this project uh, is not tested in the field, only in the lab. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that was yeah. my question. Yeah, sure, definitely. But at, in my home, there is a very small desk. How to set up it? <laughs> mm 
work as well. So, okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh.